So today we're gonna talk about my dad, <laughs> Montrose, and the Westheimer Fest. <laughs> this motherfucker. And don't get me wrong, I love my dad, but what a motherfucker. So I don't know if you've heard of this stuff called Cisco, but it kind of runs along the lines of Mad Dog. Um, there's other things too, but Cisco seemed to be worse. Like, you drank that shit and you were fucked up. So he decided to take me to Westheimer Fest because my dad was awesome. He would take me with me. He would take me with him all kinds of places because in Texas, as long as you're with a parent, it doesn't matter. So all around Montrose. He was known as, well, a shit starter, but also a cool as fuck dude. So we'd be like, okay, let's go chill at the Alabama Ice House. He'd be like, can't go there for two weeks. <laughs> okay, how about the atrium? I still got another week on that one. What happened? Pete fell on the doorknob. <laughs> He gave a guy a black guy. My dad wasn't even a big guy. He looked like Donald Swayze. And he had this deep, real cool voice. Like, he's a suave motherfucker. Anyway, so this dude decides to take me to West Hammer Fest. But then we're all fucked up. And he loses me. I don't know if you've ever been or heard of West Hammer Fest. But it's huge. How the fuck are you supposed to find each other in that? Well, we do. But, not before an adventure. I get picked up by the police. They take away my Cisco. <laughs> Which, I saw them coming. There was only like that much left. So, we had about 20 minutes before shit got wild. <laughs> Cisco was, Cisco was crazy. They take me to this place I've never heard of before called the Covenant House, which is right there on the, the edge of Montrose, but it's a place for wayward girls. And they're telling me to sign myself in, commit myself, all this stuff, but there's this huge party going on outside. And they're saying, no, you stay here with us. What? Anyway, long story short, I break out of the Covenant House. <laughs> so, I break out of the Covenant House and I'm thinking, how the fuck am I going to find this motherfucker amidst these thousands of people? But, it was already kind of hot to where the mosquitoes are getting there. If you've ever been to Houston, when there's mosquitoes, you don't want to be out there with them. So I'm like, okay, he's banned from the atrium. He's banned from all of these places. We'll check QTs. And there he is with Clarabelle. <laughs> I love Clarabelle. Clarabelle had, had his goatee, beautiful makeup, and fluffy dresses, like, Insane dresses from Little House on the Prairie looking square dancing shit. He would spin and twirl. Clarabelle was the best. Anyway, so there's my dad with Clarabelle. And I tell them, like, bitch, you fucking lost me. You're supposed to not lose me. He felt bad. Clarabelle felt bad. They left QT's, which was right down the street from Numbers. They took me to Numbers, my happy place. Everything was better. I ran away from the Covenant House, escaped the police. <laughs> and my dad was on my side. That's how you trust your parents. When you know they'll be on your side. Love you, Pops.